Hey guys, Nick here, and it seems that Harvard and MIT engineers have shown a playful disregard for the robot apocalypse and have created origami robots that can self-assemble themselves, going from a flat piece of paper and polystyrene to getting up and walking away in just four minutes. The age of Transformers might finally be upon us. Let's check it out. <laughs> The robots are made from a composite sheet of paper and polystyrene. Engineers then print some conductive channels onto these sheets and then use a laser machining system to create the correct origami fold pattern. Each hinge comes equipped with an embedded circuit that produces heat and causes the hinge to fold. By then slapping on a couple of motors, a once stayed and unadventurous piece of paper comes to life, first by folding into its predestined shape and then by walking away. It's easy to obsess ourselves over the robots themselves and not the underlying concept, self-assembly. One of the greatest bottlenecks in modern technology is that for the most part we still have to engineer things by hand. Obviously robots can help produce the individual components, but keep in mind that millions of humans are still employed slotting widget A into sprocket B. So the idea of complete self-assembly is warranted to say the least. So one way to do this is to make a flat composite. You have flexible print circuit boards, you can make them out of paper and polystyrene. Polystyrene is sold commercially as shrinky dinks. And simply put it through a laser machining system and come out with a fold pattern. And then you take your composite and fold it up into a functional machine. And what we do is we mechanically pre-program this composite with features at each hinge, which tell it how far to fold along each line. This work is in large part supported by the National Science Foundation. One of the elements of this bigger picture vision that we're pushing together with our collaborators at uh, MIT is to have a complex robot do something useful, yet have it not be assembled by experts, basically it just assembles itself. This demonstration is the first machine that leverages folding to assemble itself and then do something, in this case walk away. In theory, the robot should be able to build itself from individual components, much like the way nature self-assembles from simple building blocks. As you may imagine, this greatly reduces the cost of production, and it would be a lot more efficient if we could send flat-packed robots to the moon or Mars, or drop one in a disaster area for debris dispersal and decontamination. The caveat, of course, is that we are teaching robots to build themselves. All this is great, but chew on the concept of self-aware robots that can bypass the orders and constraints we place on them. For those of you that have seen Transformers Age of Extinction, you know what I'm talking about. It's a badass movie, but it does draw attention to the implications of what this technology can mean for the future. Okay, obviously the researchers envision a much more benign future, and with a cost of production around $20 before motor and batteries, this seems like a pretty feasible scenario. Basically, they imagine that you would have a 3D printing shop that you can churn out these self-assembling robots from. You'd be able to come in, describe what you need in fairly basic terms, and come back in an hour and get your robotic helper. Sounds cool, but don't say we didn't warn you. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.